my name is Melissa and I am going to show you guys today how to make uh, what's called typically a cheer bow. Um, so this is going to be our finished product. This is something that I'm making for one of my friend's bachelorette parties and just something a little fun. And you can adjust this for whatever your specific needs are. Um, obviously this one is bachelorette themed, but you could do just about anything uh, using your Cricut or if you have a silhouette, you can use that as well. I personally have a Cricut, uh, so that's what I use to make the iron on. So, what you're going to need, you're going to need, I used a three inch ribbon. Use the girls, girls grain ribbon. You can pick it up at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon, pretty much anywhere. And I actually created my own uh, design as well. So I grabbed one and a half inch ribbon, which is the camo, and I hot glued it to the center of the three inch. So they're both girls grain ribbon, but I've hot glued them together to give this kind of two toned look, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna have 30 inches of ribbon. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can do it all one piece, or you can do what we call a TikTok, where there's half one color and half the other. So you would just do 15 inches and 15 inches and then glue them in the center, um, which will actually be the back of the bow. So that's an option as well. So the first thing that you wanna do, um, so you've got your ribbon, the other tools you're going to need, you're going to need a centerpiece. Uh, this is just, I believe it's half inch or three quarters inch ribbon. Uh, any color, I've got sparkly black to go with our theme. You're going to need a zip tie, either a barrette or a ponytail holder, a lighter, scissors, hot glue gun, an iron, and then you're also going to want your iron-on vinyl. So I have used a glitter iron-on, and I've used my Cricut to cut out my design. So we've got Bride's Last Ride and I Do Crew. Make sure when you are doing your iron-on that you are mirroring it uh, if you have words, because when you iron on, it's going to be backwards from what you're printing. Okay, super important so that you get it going the right direction. If you have questions about that, there's lots of YouTube videos out there. So, now that we've got everything in place, we are going to get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is uh, take your ribbon and make sure that it's in half completely. And we're going to iron a crease into the center. And this is gonna be kind of our landmark that we have. So we're just gonna iron a little crease in there. Just enough that we can see it. Okay. Now we're going to make our notches on the bottom of our ribbon. So what you want to do is you want to take your ribbon, fold it from the outside in directly in half. Okay. And it's really important that you get it exactly in half so that you have an even notch. Okay. And you're going to take your scissors. Go from the corner, just like that, at a diagonal. And it trims it into a notch for you. You're gonna repeat that on the other side. So remember, if you want your notch going up versus down, you're gonna go from the bottom up on your notch from the outside, okay? Very easy, simple. Now, we're going to place our iron on. So you want to use, I like to use one of these mats that have the markings of your inches because you're gonna center your line up and you're gonna have three inches to the right and to the left before your bow starts to come down, okay? And that helps you kind of center things up and know where you're going to place your iron on to make sure that it's in the appropriate spot. Okay, so we've got those in their spot. I'm just gonna scoot this out of the way. You're gonna take a piece of parchment paper, put it in between your iron-on, and you can use a heat press for this if you have it. I don't have one yet, so I'm still using an iron. You're just going to iron that on for about 30 seconds or so. You wanna make sure that it's really well adhered so that it doesn't come off of your bow. 
This is a really great way that you can add customization if you have uh, kids that play softball or cheerleading or basketball or any kind of team sport. It's a really great way uh, that you can show support for them uh, or even make some team gifts for the girls on the team as well. Or even the moms. If this is something that you're interested in and maybe you feel like it's outside of your scope or you don't have the tools necessary to do it, I do take orders for bows. Uh, you can feel free to message me and I'd be happy to uh, customize a set of bows for you. All right, so now that that's ironed on, you're just gonna peel that away while it's still warm. Okay, so we've got the one side on. I'll do our other side. Customized bows for friends that do their daughters have been cheerleading. I've, I've done Girl Scouts. That one was super fun. A lot of really great ideas. Done Disney. So just about anything you can think of, you can put onto a bow. You can add rhinestones. You can add glitter. There, the possibilities are just endless. Now we've got our iron on. So the next step is to actually make the bow. So again, we're gonna lay it down. We're gonna give ourselves our three inches on each side. Make sure we've got it in the right spot. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of pinch right here, holding the two together, and you're gonna bring it to the back and you're gonna pinch it right there. So you've got them coming together at the same spot. You're gonna grab your zip tie and your barrette, have those ready. And what you're gonna do is you're going to make a fold in the center and you're gonna bend it upon itself. And then you're gonna do that one more time at the top and then twice more down below. What you're doing is you're just making those nice little folds. Okay, and then you're gonna take your zip tie, run it to the back, and you wanna make sure that the flat end, see how there's a little bit uh, raised in there? You want the flat end towards the bow. And you're going to kind of cinch it up most of the way. Now, if you are doing a hair tie, you're gonna to wanna to put your hair tie on here in the loop before you cinch it. So now we've got, we can slide in our barrette. Okay. And cinch it down. And you wanna make sure that, that that kind of bumpy flat end is in the back and that you're maintaining your folds in the front. And that you're Barrette is in a, a usable space. Okay. Then you're gonna, before you fully cinch it down, you wanna take a look and make sure that your bow is exactly how you want it to be in the front. That your tails are even, that your loops are even. And then go ahead and just cinch that down. So we've got that part there. So we are cinched. You're gonna cut off your excess. And then your barrette is held in place by your zip tie, okay? Next up, you're gonna add a drop of glue to the front on there, hot glue, and you're gonna take your ribbon and lay it down center, right on that hot glue. 
And what this ribbon does is not only does it cover your zip tie, but it also acts as another way to hold your barrette or your ponytail holder in place. So, and then you're just going to add a little bit more glue as you go along, all the way around. Now make sure that you don't go all the way around your barrette. You wanna make sure that you open it up so that you can tie your tie and tie this in a knot around the open barrette, okay? Because you don't wanna tie it closed. That's very important. Let me tie that in a nice knot. And then you're just gonna glue your tails down so that they don't go anywhere, don't come unraveled. And then trim them off. Very, very easy. make sure that none of your ribbon ends unravel uh, because the gross grain ribbon is notorious for that. You're going to take your lighter and you're lightly just going to cinch those ends on the small and on your large. And you'll see you don't want it to catch fire but you do want just a little bit. ribbon here looks like it needs a little extra love underneath just so that it stays put since I did create this double ribbon and that's all there is to it one completed cheer bow okay so um, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me if you would like to place an order for any custom bows I am always available as well thanks and have a great day